Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the sauce number 103. This is a typical and common sauce invisible hinge. The 103 is really a reference to the size of the hinge and therefore its capacity, uh, what size door thickness it can handle, what weight it can handle, things of that nature. So the 103, very common invisible hinge used in wood or metal applications and is a cabinet style hinge is what it's considered, will provide superior appearance and durability. Sauce hinges are found in many applications where a flush fit, compact size and smooth operation are necessary features. Sauce invisible hinges will open 180 degree as in, and is indeed a single acting hinge. Now the maximum, pardon me, the minimum material thickness for this is three quarter inch. So very common for cabinet doors, three quarter inch being typical. This is going to include uh, number six by one inch flat head Phillips drive wood screws for installation. And is a hinge that is generally routed into the edge of the door and into the frame as well. There is a link below this video to a document called Cut Sheet which will give you all of the important dimensional properties of the hinge. I've installed, I've mortised for sauce hinges countless times and really the important thing to absolutely adhere to uh, is the dimension when they refer to the edge of the door or to the edge of the cabinet. When you, you know, maintain the clearance between the door and the cabinet when you're open at 180 degrees, okay, and then the back set is correct. Installing this hinge is actually quite simple and straightforward. The preparation for a hinge like this is really just simply, uh, well, however you go about doing it, but a router is the proper way, really, or not proper, but the best way. You're going to deal with the body prep, which will allow the body of the hinge to be installed, and then the face prep, okay? This perimeter, uh, the, this profile, I should say. You've got a body width of, the, of it as half of an inch. So that's super easy. You've got a half inch prep. And really what you're going to end up doing when I install these, uh, well, first of all, I would use a template uh, created for doing only this. I would m mortise my body. Uh, you can uh, use that same half inch bit, and indeed you're probably going to have to. Um, we'll get to that more in a moment. And then change the depth of the bit and go the full width of the faceplate is how you'll end up installing these. So that link to the cut sheet is handy because it will give you all of the important dimensional properties. Um, let's test some of those. The body or the plate overall uh, height, inch and a half, that appears to be indeed the case. Okay. The body width of the hinge, again, half of an inch. Okay, that's the case as well. Body depth. Okay, about uh, 11 16, uh, forgive me, 9 16 of an inch. They call that out at, well, they call it at 9 19 30 seconds, so quite close to 9 16 Okay, so that's very handy uh, in terms of that cut sheet being there. There's also a, pict a pictogram below this video as well showing those properties. And again, really maintaining the back set is how you start uh, the proper installation of this. And quite frankly, installing these is very easy uh, once, you know, assuming that using a router is not an obstacle, owning a router, etc. There's also a link below this video to a sauce or universal hinge, is the, is so, is the sauce company name, uh, installation video that will allow you to familiarize yourself with the sauce hinge if you're not already familiar with it. Now, speaking of becoming familiar with the hinge, uh, we'll get to some additional information, but first, this hinge is available in a variety of different finishes, uh, satin brass being the most common, satin chrome. They can do a black finish uh, as well. Okay. Now, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page. That will allow you to pull up not only all the sauce products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website and a link to the manufacturer's full product catalog where you can review all things hinge related from sauce. There is a nomograph link, sauce usage chart, they call it a nomograph. That's a very handy tool to have at your disposal because it tells you how many hinges are required 
given a door size, door weight. And it's a chart that we refer to all the time. You know, if you're doing a three foot by seven foot door, you'll use three number 218 hinges. So you have certain applications memorized naturally. But the fact of the matter is you might get yourself into a situation where you're doing an unusual door weight or door height. The sauce catalog is going to tell you that they're not afraid of very heavy doors. And that is indeed one of the hallmarks of the sauce hinge. They can easily handle door weights that are well beyond what a typical butt hinge will allow. So we will look to use those when we know that we have an unusual a requirement for a heavy door and a concealed mounting. Sauce is a great go-to. Sauce hinges do occasionally complicate matters slightly. Uh, for instance, when you are installing some associated hardware, perhaps an overhead concealed door stop or door holder, the templating of those is different when you have a sauce hinge because what happens is the vertical axis of pivoting on a butt hinge is fixed. It doesn't move. But as you open a door hung on sauce hinges, that vertical axis of pivoting actually moves. So take into account when you're ordering other hardware, the fact that you have a slightly unusual uh, condition that needs to be understood and incorporated into the, into the design when using a sauce hinge. But short of that, I quite frankly wish that they were more common. I think they're very elegant because they're thoroughly concealed when the door is closed. They're a security hinge just by the very fact that they're concealed and they're uh, capable of handling a lot of weight and they're architecturally pleasing. This material can be installed in wood doors, metal doors, it can be installed in fire rated applications as well. If you have any questions on the sauce number 103 hinge and this is the 26D or satin chrome finish or any other sauce product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.